What up, y'all? Got uh, a little bit of merch came in, a couple packages. Uh, it's not gonna be a super long video, but uh, it's not gonna be real short. Uh, but just not quite as long as our shoe videos. But uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, all that good stuff, and let's get started. Um, well, first off, before we get started, tomorrow, see here, no, Friday, we got the Grateful Dead SBs, and we got the Jordan 12s, um, Sneakers app, that's the only place you, you're going to be able to go online and be able to just have a fair chance to order the uh, Grateful Dead, so I suggest, you know, go on there, uh, the SB Grateful Dead's are draw, and then the following day on Saturday, it's still saying a regular you know, entry as far as like being able to buy a shoe like like the Jordan 12s. It's just going to be a regular sale. The off-white Jordan 4s are supposed to be the same thing. So I would suggest, <clears throat> just like I'm doing, I got several people trying for the Grateful Dead. And I'm going to have several people trying for the off-white Jordan 4s. It's the only way I know to really do it. Um, and the best way I know to do it. So uh, that's, that's my advice to y'all. Um I've entered, uh, I hit on one raffle for the Jordan 12 so far. Um, that was the Hibbits and uh, Flex Apps next. So, you know, if you ain't got an entry entered in the Flex App, I'd suggest hurry up because tomorrow or Friday, but to, by tomorrow, that'll be the end of it. And they'll do the winners tomorrow. So uh, jump on the Flex App if you haven't already and uh, enter to try to get you some of those shoes. I know on the Jordan 12s, this is the Gary Payton. PE general release which means it's the exact same shoe as the Gary Payton 12 that he wore with the Lakers the PE but they're giving us a general release version of it that just don't have the embroidered 23 on it same shoe just don't have the 23 on it or the not 23 uh embroidered 20 on it but uh let's jump into this uh unboxing this came uh UPS and as you tell Ooh, this one's kind of beat up. The other one's in good shape, but I don't know what they did this one. I don't know if they passed it on. Let a dog, they was trying to carry it to a mailbox and a dog got a hold of it or what, but they just beat all the crap. Let's open this one up. And this, I think, I, I mean, I know I still got some stuff coming from the uh, Travis Scott Fortnite collab, uh, but we're starting to get in, you know, I've gotten a few packages. And by the end of these two, I should still have probably a few more coming. But uh, we're getting close to finally getting everything. So this one right here, it looks like... Let's see what we got in here. First off, we got a shirt. Let's see if you can see anything on it. This is the Astro Raid shirt, which... Don't look like I'm going to be able to open it up, but as you can tell, I got the Astro Rage Extra Large Plaque. I wish they would have used different bags so you could actually see the shirt, but... Oh, you can see the, the Cactus Jack right here. Let's see here. My lighting kind of sucks, but as you can tell, it's got that right here, and then it's got a design on the back of it. Then, uh, here's my packing slip. Yep. Then we got these little uh, Tomahawky pickaxes. You know, if you want to get some material on Fortnite, you know, or while you're at home in this coronavirus, you know, just chop, 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 you know, get get that wood, get that brick, get that steel, whatever you need. But anyways, uh, these ain't bad. These are pretty cool. Just some decor, you know, have hanging on a, or put on a bookshelf or you know, anywhere that you got some, you know, uh, collectibles or anything like that. Um, it's just a foam pickaxe. Kind of reminds me of the, you know, the the foam uh, number one fingers that you wear at the ball games. But uh, it looks just like the little pickaxes on Fortnite. And then right here, it says Cactus Jack. Let's see if I can get the zoom in any better. I'll show y'all. It's kind of hard to see. But, yeah. Just pretty simple little thing. Uh not the cheapest little pieces of foam, I'll tell you that much. Uh, these things retailed for around 20 bucks, and they're going to resell for about 30 or $40. So, 
I got two so far. I think I ordered about a total of three of these. So let's jump into the second package here. How in the world did those fit? Because those are not fitting in here now. <laughs> I guess they went in there like that. They was a little bent. So try not to bend them up anymore. And I use this bigger box to put everything in. <laughs> All right, let's see what I was in this one. Figure out what I just did with my knife. Remember, anytime you're cutting these boxes, cut towards your buddy, not your body. It's bad luck for your buddy if you go wild, but uh, at least you ain't cutting yourself, you know what I mean? this one is and why they didn't use different like this kind of cracks me up they should have used this box for the other package and the other pa box for this package because in this one we got the cactus jack uh beanie i think it's just called yeah cactus jack digital uh logo beanie black and blue with the green flames on it pretty cool little beanie And then we got some more gamer cups. Like I said, I I got like six or eight of these cups total. Um, so if anybody's interested in any of these cups, let me know. Um, or if anybody's interested in any of this, like I'm, uh, I can do like if somebody wants like several items, I could probably do like some kind of you know deal on on several items, but. Um, of course, like, I'm, I'm going to always try to beat, like, I've seen some of these people selling these things for, like, 60 and 80 bucks, like these cups. I'm going to be somewhere in the ballpark of, like, 30 or 40 dollars, you know, so, uh, if you're interested, just let me know. Um, let's get this stuff put back in here. Like I said, I think I still got, like, this week, I think I got... I think what else it is. I think we got another couple lunch boxes, another foam pickaxe, and maybe some more cups or something like that coming. And then I'm still waiting on the figurines, which don't ship till October. And I think that's about it. There might be one or two other things I'm just not thinking of right now. Oh, the backpack. I still haven't got shipped my backpack. I thought that was already going to come, but it didn't come yet. Um, I'm hoping they ship that out soon. But, uh, so far, like, if y'all have seen everything on that release for that whole collab, uh, or if you've ordered some stuff so far, what's your favorite thing? Like, if you could have bought something and didn't buy it, like, what would you have bought? Like, would it have been the figurines? I kind of wish now that I would have ordered the Nerf gun, too. Um, I think that would have been something pretty cool. I could see a lot of people at, like, Sneaker Con or something taking those Nerf guns and just pow, 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 running around, you know, seeing two J's or something on his little uh, bicycle thing that he rides around and have a load of shoes on his little trailer thing that he pulls behind it and just sitting there brrr, unloading on people. You know what I mean? Like, I could see a lot of that going on. But I'll tell you this much. I can see a lot of stuff like this selling at Sneaker Con. So, like, if you do go to Sneaker Cons, um, I would suggest buying some of this stuff, trying to get it at some kind of deal and take it there and sell it because you're going to have people with money wanting to spend money and wanting to get collectible stuff. And by the time that they start having those Sneaker Cons and stuff again, like, all this stuff's going to go up in value. Right now, is everybody's starting to get it in, the value's going to be a little on the low side compared to what it would normally be. But it will go up. Anything Travis Scott uh, just goes through the roof. That's why I ordered a lot of this stuff like I did. It's just to be able to, you know, uh, turn around and resell it and make a little bit of money. Like I said, I'm not always up for charging the maximum amount. But, you know, I do got to make something off of it. But, like I said, you know, I got some pickaxes. I got several of them cups. I got like three shirts. I've got a lunchbox so far, um, like four or six of those cups so far, that beanie, 
And, you know, I, I didn't do the smartest thing. I should have done, like, big orders each day to kind of save more on shipping to kind of bring my price down a little bit. Because they do hit you a little bit on that shipping and, and uh, taxes or whatever. Like, let's see here. It don't tell me. Well, let's put it like this. For a $65 order, they're charging you 85 bucks. So, that, if that tells you anything, shipping and plus taxes on that is about 20 bucks. So, you know, right off the get-go, you got to, you know, let's say if you sold one of these pickaxes for 40 bucks, then, you know, it would take, you'd have to sell one of these for double the money just to cover the taxes and shipping, you know, so... Then you would be able to sell like this other pickaxe and that shirt and whatever profit you made off of those is what profit you made. Which a lot of the shirts are going for like 80 bucks. Um, and I do think some of them will go for more than others. Uh, I think the ones, the shirts definitely to have ordered out of this whole thing is the ones that ain't got all the Fortnite, you know, decals all on it and everything. Like the ones that just anybody could wear and and just because it was travis scott or cactus jack whatever you want to call it um that kind of stuff is going to sell to a bigger group of people and compared to the just the strictly the fortnite stuff like yeah i got these foam pickaxes but at the same time i got these just because you know it even though it's a pickaxe but it says cactus jack and it's something that you could just kind of hang up and people you know they'll be like what well, you know why is that cactus pickaxe a cactus jack like they would not everybody knows that this is a fortnite pickaxe you know what i mean like they could think like you could have let's just take this back you could have a pair of the cactus jack air maxes and where they're you know the outdoors top shoe you know like that's the way that they uh uh advertised it you know and and that's that's the way that they had all this extra stuff for all that was to be outdoors shoe well, you could have this sitting there with a pair of those on your display, and it would look like it went with the shoes. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like you, can, this is what this kind of stuff is good for. It's just putting it up around stuff like that, and kind of help display and and draw attention towards the you know what you're wanting to uh, show off. You know what I mean? But um, like I said, next this weekend we got some heat coming. Uh, Jordan Twelves, Grateful Dead's off-white fours and the off-white fours are coming in extended sizes so all you men out there that wants a pair of them you know I, myself included i want a pair of them it to me it's not even though it was listed as a women's shoe that's not really like a women's shoe it's just a cream color jordan four like it's this shoe but cream colored with a couple of little extra add-ons you know what i mean like it's does this look like a women's shoe no you know what I mean? And even if it was cream colored, it wouldn't be a women's shoe. You know what I mean? So, uh, even even these pink colors and stuff, like, I know a lot of guys that, you know, myself included, like, I'm, I will wear pink. You know what I mean? I will wear purple. Like, that, the colors, uh, it's something that kills me. I don't think that when it comes to Jordan shoes, like, I think they should make extended sizes. For all of them, because I know women that wears the guys' colors, and I know guys that wears the women colors. You know, like that's something that I never really understood when it came to Jordan shoes and them doing that. Because you got so many, uh, or you've got you know your Jordan Four example, and then you've got all these different colorways, and depending on the color, it depends on if it's a men or women's. <clears throat> And I've seen several colorways that guys has gotten mad because they didn't make extended color or extended sizes for the men. I've seen, you know, uh, women that, you know, wanted the guys, but they couldn't get it quite small enough because it didn't run the sizes as small. So they had, you know, they, they had to go with the kids, which some of the kids' versions didn't look identical to the men. So, you know, I, I feel like on always Jordans, they should just do like a, a full-size run of them. And, you know, in the men's, like they should, it should just be, you know, men slash women's. You know what I mean? Because you got people that wears, men and women that wears every one of them. I understand some of them are a little bit, look a little bit more girly as far as the women's. But for the most part, at least 70% of them 
men wear. So, you know, like I said, that's how I feel like they should do the sizes on that. Um, you know, and now the women's are costing just as much as the men's do. So if you're going to do that, you might as well offer men's sizes as well. And, that, and, and not exclude guys with semi big feet you know if you if you're over a size 10 or 10 and a half then you know you're not getting a women's shoe for you know a women's jordan like those tie dyes i wanted that shoe i would have rocked that shoe but it, it only went up to a women's size 12 which is like a men's 10 and a half and i think that would have just been a little too snug for me i'm a size 11 a true 11 so you know unless if it ran a little big or something then my my feet ain't fitting in that you know so like for example these are 11 and it's kind of hard to tell but my toe barely has any as you can see my finger right there i've got that much room in between my toe and the end of it so a 10 and a half my toes would be crunched i hear some people say oh i just kind of you know, curl my toes. I ain't doing all that. If I can't wear a shoe comfortably, I'm not wearing it, you know? So, uh, Jordan Brand, Nike, I feel like that's some things y'all need to work on right there. But, uh, like I said, I hope everybody hits on pairs that you're wanting this weekend. You know, let's see in the comments below. If y'all do hit on some shoes, come back to my comments. Let me know if y'all, what shoes y'all hit on. Um, I'd love to see somebody hit on the Grateful Deads or the Off-Whites. I think your luck might be a little bit better, even though the Grateful Deads, even though it's a drawing, and I feel like your your luck is better there, but I feel like there's going to be more. By seeing how many Off-Whites are being available in other stores, I feel like the Off-Whites are going to be a more available shoe. So therefore, depending on if Nike turns up their bot protection, Depends on if everybody's going to have a good chance of getting those. Compared to the Grateful Dead Dunks, like even though several skate shops are getting them, they're getting like the green and the, the orange pairs. So there's not really, the yellows ain't in a whole lot of skate shops. They're more on the stickers app and a few skate shops. So I feel like, you know, uh, that's going to be your best bet as far as like, if you're wanting them, go for the sneakers up. Sorry, I just had to bring for it. Uh, I think that we might have a better chance in the semi fact of getting the off whites. So I try to, you know, if if you're trying to pick one or the other, go go definitely go for the Grateful Dead first because it's the day ahead of time. It's a draw. It's a little bit easier to do, and you know they just randomize. If you win, you win. It's a valuable shoe, so why not go for it? Um, if you want, if you get one, you want to sell it, hit me up, you know, especially if you live local, you can come show me, you know, on your phone where you got it or whatever. And, you know, boom, I'll take it. But the off white, I feel like that that one might be the easiest to get if they got bot protection turned up. If they got bot protection turned up. I feel like more people's going to hit on that than, than anything. Um, and there's going to be a lot of sizes available. So therefore, People's going to be going for a lot of these money sizes and stuff like that. You know, like the the sizes like that men and women would wear. So like some of these bigger sizes might not be gone after quite as much because simple fact that a reseller is going to want to have the option to be able to sell to a man or a woman. So they're going to try to get like a, a women's 10, men's 8.5 or men's 9.5, something like that, you know. Like, it's a size and a half difference. So, anywhere from a women's 12 down, that's going to be, to me, the shoes that sizes that more people's going to go after. Except the people that wants to wear them. The people that wants to wear them or the people like me that wants a part of their collection are going for the bigger sizes. So, it just, it's, there's a lot of sizes there that's available and compared to, like, the SB Dunk Grateful Dead's. You know, you got your men's sizes, and you got everybody and their brother going after that shoe, and you're going after them hard. So, the 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 off white's not going to go for as much. So, therefore, you ain't going to quite have as you're going to have more people. The more people it hits on those uh, Grateful Dead's, the less they're going to be going after the off whites. And I've heard some people said that they didn't really care for the off whites, even though it's going to be a shoe worth some money. But there's some other off-whites coming up that people's kind of pumping the brakes on these and we're going to go for those. 
I'm going for both of them. I don't care if I hit on several pairs of them. Like, I'm going after them. I'm, I'm going after as many pairs of those Jordan 12s I can get. I'm going after as many Grateful Deads I can get. I'm going after as many pairs of the Off-Whites I can get. Like, I'm I'm trying to just go all in on this weekend and try to get as many pairs. So, y'all cross your fingers for me. Wish me good luck. And, uh, you know, hope I get as many pairs as possible. Like I said, I've done got one pair of Jordan 12s. That's already locked, you know, in the box. It's happening. So let's just hope uh, Friday, whenever I go do a video, that, you know, I got several pairs for y'all to show on the video. Plus, you know, me being able to say, hey, I hit on a pair of, you know, Grateful Deads. You know, if I just hit on that one pair, like I'm not selling them, I'm keeping them. But if I just hit on that one pair, like, man, I just, I, I want that just to do a video for y'all. That's the main reason why I want a pair. It's just, you know, yeah, I want a pair for my collection, but I think that would be one of the best videos for my channel this far. So, uh, you know, let's just hope I hit on them, you know. But, uh, like I said, if anybody's interested in any of this Khaki Jack merch, I've got plenty of it at the house. i got several things here. i got Supreme stuff at the house that I ain't even been posting. So if you're interested in anything like that, just hit me up on my Instagram, S underscore white underscore white like the color underscore 82. And you know, the white is not nothing racist, that's just my last name. But hit me up on Instagram, DM me, and uh, you know, I'll let you know what I got. We'll try to work out some kind of deal. Excuse me. If you made it this far in the video if it's your first time watching please drop a sub like and comment let me know what y'all think uh let me know what y'all want to see next let me see what y'all or let me know what y'all want on the next giveaway like i said the the giveaway coming up is for that kind of end and the fda came down on puff bar so therefore we are fixing to eliminate this whole vape thing from my channel uh once we get enough subscribers, I'm just deleting all the videos off my channel. All the vape stuff, just deleting it off there. I know I had a lot of views. I mean, I've got some 10K plus video or views on some videos. But I don't want none of that heat drawn to my channel no more. I've done got some warnings over some of the videos that I didn't do nothing that went against the YouTube guidelines. Um, so... They just trying to act like I was trying to, like, put links in my video about b being able to buy stuff. And I wasn't doing that. Like, that's not what it was. It was, I'd put where you could buy it, but I wasn't putting a link to it. So there, there's there's a fine line on that. And I, I knew the rules. There's a ton of other YouTubers that I was watching that, you know, that's how you had to do it. You know, and they i don't know if they just it, it, i'll tell you what it was my blow disposable video the second it hit 10,000 views that's when youtube came after me once it, before that never had no issues out of youtube uh put whatever i wanted <clears throat> once that video hit 10k and the government was starting to come down on these disposables and jewel and all that that's whenever your boy got some warnings slapped at me. And I mean, it was like two or three, like to where they was ready to delete my channel. So, <clears throat> that's one reason why I kind of backed off on that stuff. Um, and plus, I'm, I'm, you know, at that time, I was gradually getting out of that kind of stuff. Like, even though, as you can tell, I still vape. But, like, the videos, like, it was just... The industry, the vape industry, even though new stuff comes out all the time... But it, it, there wasn't a change. There, it, it just wasn't the same anymore. You know, like, I remember a time when we had competitions, you know, uh, conventions, you know, it, all that kind of stuff. Then outside of that, you had the, the social media platforms that it was like a big community. And now it's nothing like it used to be. Like, And then plus with the whole, you know, COVID thing going on, like, it, it just it screwed it all up bad like I like I said I was on teams once the COVID hit like they shut our teams down and we was just promoters for the most part like we'd get out and do pictures and stuff and post them like you can go to my Instagram page you scroll down past the shoes you can see the type of posts I was doing 
That's what I did. I was a promoter. So that kind of shut a lot of that stuff down. And, you know, yeah, I was getting sent a lot of free stuff for doing that. But, and since I started doing this shoe stuff, like, all that stuff came out of pocket. Like, I have not got nothing sent for free. This is just me wanting to give y'all valuable information on stuff. Try to help y'all cop on stuff. And uh, try to turn this channel around and, and make it a channel that I enjoy doing videos with. The vape stuff, I did have some fun with some of it. But at the same time, it was more of a hassle and compared to me having fun with it but uh like i said if you're not subscribed to the channel please drop a sub like comment all that good stuff that's gonna about wrap this video up uh drop a comment below let me know what y'all think did y'all hit on any travis scott merch from the fortnite club um if not uh and you want some of it let me know in the comments what items did y'all like if you want to hit me up for something hit me up and i got you but uh y'all have a good one much love and peace out